Hello and welcome to Cortez Campers. My name is Anthony Capora. I'm the CEO and President and I'm here to explain uh, the starting foundation of what Cortez Campers brings to the industry and why we're the ultimate travel trailer on the market. Cortez Campers creates molded fiberglass campers. We make them out of an open mold and they are fiberglass made of zero wood. Unlike what you see in Indiana, campers are made with hundreds, if not thousands of parts. We bring to the industry a camper that is made solely of four main parts. Every camper has two exterior shells and two interior shells made out of complete fiberglass. We only have four parts to make up the entire camper. This mold right here will create every outer bottom shell. This right here is our top outer shell. And you can see there's a part already made in here ready to be pulled out. What color it is, it just depends on how we sprayed it. We also have two inner shells. This is our inner bottom. And this is the floor that we will uh, make up the strength and rigidity of our camper out of the honeycomb uh, polypropylene. And then finally, our top inner shell is right here and again you'll see a part all ready to be pulled. So basically you have two outers, two inners, hence why we say the word double hull, which you will see in our language a lot of adding that extra strength and rigidity, having a good cosmetic appeal on the outside and the inside as well. After the camper starts in lamination with our gel coat, fiberglass, and core material, it comes over into what we call preparation after they demold the parts. This obviously is a white unit that has the two interior shells in the camper already and the two exterior shells all ready to go. This department is called preparation, then where they do all the cutting, the grinding, and the gluing to give you what, as you know, of the four parts of Cortez campers. Okay, this is camper 1073 done in our, our famous silver flake and the final stage in preparation is having the camper with all the windows cut, with the doors cut, all the cutouts for the interior pieces and then again all four layers sealed with MMA which is a very strong adhesive bond that they use in some very serious power boats and this is basically the final component of what you'll see in our preparation. One thing you'll notice that with the cutouts to ensure that the windows are cut accordingly with the appropriate thickness that we have jigs made up to make sure that they're an inch and a half thick and then we uh, structurally core the surrounding areas for the window to add the strength and rigidity with our polypropylene honeycomb core and our paste that we make from resin, germite, and aerosol to make sure that it is all structurally sound and that none of our windows leak. After the flange gets cut, it will be washed completely. It will be inspected to make sure that all the bodywork, or that there's no bodywork needed and that all the holes are cut correctly and everything fits. And then it will be washed and shipped to final assembly. So I'm Nick, I'm the production manager here in final assembly. This is where we bring the campers up after prep. We put them on the frames. We run all of our electrical, our plumbing, uh, all the appliances are installed, and we begin the RVIA testing. The RVIA tests include um, making sure the plumbing is good, making sure the electrical is safe, making sure all the 120 and the 12 volt devices are working properly. It's to ensure the camper is safe and reliable for the user. Well, this is a camper in its final stages of production. RVA testing has already been done. All the electrical testing has been done, water testing. It's gonna get its trim work done. At this stage, the camper will be sent over to um, Q&A. There will be a checklist of everything in the camper done. Make sure it's done properly. Make sure there's no defects in the gel coat. After that, it will be buffed. After buffing, it'll be cleaned up and ready for delivery.